Patrick O'Donnell from the Norman Rockwell Museum. Welcome back to the studio. And today we are continuing with Aunt Ella Takes a Trip. And today we are going to start to pick out the lines that we created from our early experience drawing. But this time we're gonna refine them and make them look a little bit more organic and a little bit more like the shape that we want to create. And once that's done, then we're going to go into shading in our next episode. So let's get started. Okay, so here's where we left off. We have all the basic shapes of our horse, but as you can see, our drawing doesn't look as accurate as Mr. Rockwell's original artwork, but we're going to change that right now by picking out the lines that we want. Now, again, we're going to draw lightly, but we're going to start to move the lines a little bit. And once they start to make sense, then we're gonna go in a little bit darker and pick them out, okay? So here we go. All right, looking at this, all right, some of the main features. One of the nice tricks is when you're looking at a drawing, if you look at things as flat shapes rather than the object they are, you break them down to simple pieces, which is what we did earlier, all right? Now, by doing that, we figure out how things work. So right here, I'm looking above the blinds, right? See that square? Or blinders, any, any equestrian friends out there, anybody who knows horses, I'd love to, please drop a comment, and tell me if I'm getting that wrong. Okay, so look at this, All right? There's that shape, okay? And so he's got a bit of a brow ridge. Again, it's a little, we've got a blow up, a very small blow up of a very big painting. So it's a little fuzzy, but that's all right. That is actually a good thing because it helps us just see the basic shapes. Now see how this right here has an arc to it? And notice I'm not erasing any of my original drawing, right? So I'm just gonna bring that out. I'm gonna come down here and start to carve out that shape. It's got a bit of a horsey. A horsey face, which makes sense because he's a horse. All right, I'm going to carve this shape out, which is the nostril. See, it's a little bit lower, All right? And oop. let's see right here in this little shape. Bring that over. And because of the drawing we did earlier, we have a blueprint, right? We kind of know where everything is going to fit. When we come up here to this shape, right? And that comes around and look, look at the shape that these three straps make, right? There it is. Boom. Beef up that strap. Now here's, it's, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but what happens is these, one, two, three, four, pieces of leather connect from a ring. So this part goes into his mouth, and I'm about to darken this up so you'll be even able to see it even better. All right, just rounding that out. I'm kind of showing a little bit of that eye shape. It looks pretty good, but comes down a little far, right? Now, look at this ear, okay? See? If I look at the eye, the ear is almost as wide as the eye, right? So I'm going to bring that out. And then the back of the ear sits behind these one and looks like two pieces of leather. Right. 
And then the main comes out. See, and the main comes out and hangs over a little bit. So we've got that. And then this ear actually comes out a little. And we draw that shape right over. And now, I'm looking, this is a little bit steeper. This is round. This. Round out this is just going to go over, and then this shape right here is the main, right? Big flowy main. So we're going to bring that out. It's a little bit longer, right? So now what I've done, there's my brushes, is I have duplicated some of the lines that Mr. Rockwell has made. All right, now what I'm gonna do, here's where you can push a little bit harder on your pencil, all right? Or if you like, you can also take a marker and don't worry about ruining it, you can't ruin it. Even if it gets pushed too far and you can't, you feel like you can't fix it, all you need to do is get a clean piece of paper, hold it up against the window, retrace it, and you're good. So here we go, really fast, okay? I am going to pick a nice dark color, right? And I am going to just pick some of the shapes that give us the right, shape of a horse. A little bit darker. Really pour on the uh, speed here. Pick a couple, this ear goes up, this ear goes over, here's one side, here's the blinder, right? This one we know what we got. This line gets brought down a little bit, goes in, this line goes right. Right. The corner of the eye kind of has a little shape like that. Nostril, we're going to beef up just a little bit. Looking for all the distinguishing characteristics. This goes over, goes over, boom, boom. And again, even now we can move things around. We are not committed to any one line. Right. Move it over, take it, pick that line, and it's over. There's this so the jaw goes past. There's another line. And again, it doesn't need to be fancy, and it doesn't need to be perfect, because we're going to paint over it or shade over it with our more, with more lights and darks, right? So by keeping this loose, we just keep more energy in the drawing, right? There. See? Look at that. Now we're getting there. Now it's starting to look like a horse, right? So just a few deliberately placed lines. We have given ourselves a very nice starting point for completing a drawing. And when we take this to the next step, we're going to start to add value. And value, as you recall, is the range of lights to darks and darks to lights that make things look dimensional and real. Because right now, what we have is a line drawing. It's a very credible line drawing. We know it's a horse, but we want to make it look like Mr. Rockwell's horse. And we're going to do that in the next episode. Okay, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not be afraid to hit that like button. And if you really enjoy everything at the museum, 
please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you and we'd love to hear from you. If you drew along with me, we'd love to see your work. We'd love to share it. So if you want to email it to the museum, you can email it to sketchclub at nrm.org. Or if you post it to Instagram, just hashtag NRM Sketch Club. We'll take a look at the work. Love to hear from you. Thank you again for joining me here in the studio, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.